morning, folks, and welcome back to another Travels of Red Rover. I'm Sean. And I'm Corrine. And where are we this morning? We're at Bowman Lake in Glacier National Park on the west side. And this is our fourth day here, or actually our fourth uh, shoot here. Yes. We've had two evenings and two mornings, and we're hoping we're going to get some good light this morning, although uh, the clouds are pretty dense. So if it happens, it's going to come through a little opening in the eastern part of the sky. Yeah, and um, over the lake we have a breeze, so no great reflection shots by the looks of it. Nope, not this morning. It's going to be all about the light, and if it works, it's going to be great. If it doesn't, eh, it's going to be meh. <laughs> <laughs> so let's check it out. So we did shoot Bowman Lake four times, twice in the morning and twice in the evening, and we never really did get the kind of conditions we were hoping for. So what I've decided to do, instead of making you sit through four separate videos, is to pull all four of the videos into a single video and give you a survey of the conditions and light that we got during our trip. Our first night on the lake was such a disaster that we didn't even bother taking the cameras out of our bag. The light was very flat, the lake was very choppy, and the bugs were murderous. So this video starts on our second night. And as Corrine explains, it was much better. Well, we got a little color, peach color, in the sky down at the end of the channel here. And it reflected on the water a little bit. Uh, we had some ripples, so it was a little bit um, less reflective, smooth than we'd like. But the color showed up on the water surface, which was a good thing. And it's a much better night than we had last night, so we're not going to complain. In the campground that we were staying at, these deer were pretty much permanently living and uh, they spent a lot of time around us especially when we were out shooting it was uh, kind of fun to watch and kept us pretty entertained while we were uh, taking the shots over the lake It's just a small pebble beach to work on. Good enough for launching kayaks, which seems to be a common activity here at the lake. Got our cameras set up over here. And just waiting for some of that light. There's a big cloud hanging over that set of mountains there. But as you can see, the lake is very still. So we've taken a few shots before any wind starts just to get full reflection. But there's no color to them. It's just a predominantly blue sh hour shot. Listening to the birds, as Sean mentioned, and hoping we get some nice color down there by the uh, U shape created by the glaciers. Well, what did you think this morning, Crane? Uh, it was a little disappointing. Uh, the lake was nice and calm, but there really wasn't much color to photograph today. Yep, that certainly turned out to be the case. And the lake is now starting to get a bit of a ripple on it. And there's not much happening, so I think we're going to pack it in.
So as Kareem mentioned, we have a kind of a choppy water this morning uh, and some pretty dense clouds. So we're just waiting to see if light comes through that little hole up there in the east and lights up these clouds. And it shouldn't be too long because we're here about uh, just before sunrise. We're just about two or three minutes from sunrise and the clouds down in that uh, valley, U-shaped valley down there, are just starting to get the slightest bit of pink on their undersides. It started subtly over on the east side and it's uh, spread a little bit more to the north and we're just doing our best to capture that before it's gone. I've set up my camera with a couple neutral density filters. <clears throat> I'm using a three stop soft edge filter over the main part of the sky. It's a graduated filter, no filtering on the water, just to balance out how bright that sky is relative to the water. And then I have a two stop solid filter that slows down the shutter speed a little because when I do that, it seems to capture more of the intensity of the color. Well, Sean, how was your photography session this morning? Well, it was nice. We got some lovely color right as the sun rose. In fact, just a few minutes after sunrise. Uh, but otherwise, it was a pretty... Uh, it was a little disappointing in that the, the lake was so rippled. It would have been nicer if the lake was nice and calm and uh, the reflection was a little better. But otherwise, it was uh, pretty nice. Yeah, I think we had more medium height clouds than high clouds and so they don't bright they don't brighten up quite as much as the high cloud and it seemed to be mostly lumped in the uh, north area so it uh, didn't streak across the entire sky yeah except for right at the end uh, the clouds started to dissipate a little bit and they gave some nice uh, they nice some nice shapes in the clouds uh, that the light was lighting up and I it, although it wasn't all that colorful it did make uh, the picture a little bit more interesting. Anyway, I think that brings today's video to an end. And if you enjoyed the video, please give us a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more of our videos, we sure hope you'll hit that subscribe button down below. And as always, if you want to know when we release videos, hit that little notification button. If you have any questions or comments, or you want to say something about uh, one of the photos we've numbered, please put it in the comment section below. We love to hear from you. We get great interaction, and we'll respond as soon as we can. And until next time, bye for now. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.